Hey guys, what's up? Cyber Ace TV here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the iOS 5 beta with or without being a registered developer. Now, before I get started with this video, let me just state that I do not condone the piracy of Apple software, and so I will not uh, actually be instructing you on how to do it without a UDID. However, there will be a link in the sidewire, sidebar to where you can find uh, instructions on how to install it without a UDID. So, in the description of this video, there will be the links to download the software for various devices. These devices include the iPod Touch 3G, the iPod Touch 4G, the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPad 1, and the iPad 2. Any devices that are not listed below are not compatible with the iOS 5 operating system. So, basically, once you download these, all you have to do is go to your iTunes plug in your device and go to the little devices tab and go to this menu right here. What you'll see is an update button. If you're on a Mac, you hold down the alt button. If you're on a PC, you will hold down the shift button. Once you do this, you will click on the update button and voila. All you have to do is look for the file. It'll be a .ipsw file and that is what I have links to download in the description below. So. Here I have a 4.01 and I have a 5.0 file down here. Now because of how long this would take, uh, I'm not actually going to uh, install it, but this is exactly what you'd do. You'd click, click open, and then it would start the installation on your device. Once it was installed, as long as your UDID is registered, uh, your device will work fine, and if your UDID is not registered, then you should follow these steps in the link in the description below on how to do it without a UDID. But uh, these are the basic instructions. You have to do this before you can do anything else. Uh, and once you do this, then you could either, if you're registered, freely use the software and set it up. And if you're not registered, follow the easy steps to use it without a UDID. If you are interested in legitimately obtaining this software, you can do a few different things. One, like I did, contact a friend that is a developer and ask them to register your UDID for you. Two, you could also always become a developer to have access to all the builds of the software by yourself without having to go through anybody else. Please note, you will need a Macintosh computer to actually be a developer. And your third option would be to pay somebody to do this. There's a lot of people out there that would probably love to take your money just to register some software that you could get in a few months for free anyway. So if you really want to do that, I'm sure there's a place you could probably find people willing to register your UDID for a set price. I'm Cyberace TV, and I hope this tutorial helped you guys out a lot. Hope you enjoy your iOS 5 beta software, and feel free to leave a comment below on what your thoughts on the software are. I'll see you guys later. Get the official Cyberace TV iPhone app, now available in the iTunes App Store. Like the videos? Check out Cyberace TV on Twitter and Facebook. Links.